The pituitary gland is at the anatomical and functional crossroads of the brain, mind and body. Weighing less than 1 gram and measuring a centimeter in width, the pituitary is often called the master gland since it regulates the secretion of the body's hormones. These substances when released by the pituitary into the bloodstream have a dramatic and broad range of effects on growth and development, sexuality and reproductive function, metabolism, the response to stress and overall quality of life. The small bean-shaped gland is located below the brain in the skull base in an area called the cella tersica. The pituitary gland is regulated by a brain region called the hypothalamus, which is connected to the pituitary gland by a thin delicate vascular connection, called the pituitary stalker infundibulum. The pituitary is divided into a larger anterior region and smaller posterior region. Directly above the pituitary are the optic nerves and the optic chiasm as they project to the eyes. On each side of the pituitary is the cavernous sinus which is a venous channel through which runs the carotid arteries that carry blood to the brain and important nerves that control eye movements and facial sensation. Because of the proximity of the pituitary to these major intracranial nerves and blood vessels and the vital hormonal control the pituitary provides, disorders of the pituitary can cause a wide spectrum of symptoms, both hormonal and neurological. It secretes hormones from both the anterior and posterior parts of the gland. Hormones are regarded as chemicals that carry messages from one cell to another through our bloodstream. If the pituitary gland is not able to produce sufficient amounts of hormones this is known as hypopituitarism. But on the other hand, if the pituitary is overproducing some hormones that are due to the overproduction of certain hormones. Hence, the pituitary gland is known as the master gland. So, that's why the pituitary gland is known as the master gland.